Yep. Okay. Uh, there seems to be a set of gloves there too, and in a more elderly voice it goes, You know the one that I am destined to be with. Would you take me to him? These gloves seem to have gems of different colours inside of it. Them. The Infinity Stone. <laughs> sort of. Arcane in nature, but not, yes. not as powerful. Okay, so you pocket the gloves. And there doesn't seem to be any calling to Raven or Laurie at this very point in time. Um... No, oh, who's there? Mine's going to delete that. Um, the troll, after he's finished scooping things up, he goes, Ah! Looks like some of the artifacts have actually taken the calling to you. Uh, how do you respond? Chrissy says, yeah, it looks like... Well, you can take them as compensation for your efforts within my dealings. As I take the time, and he starts cracking his knuckles, to praise Nora. Oh god. Oh! Oh! Oh dear. Run. So, who oh. will it be first? Oh well, shit, um... I'm Tyler, run! <laughs> calculated. His, uh, wings. He says, I'll make you a... Com com compensation matter. I won't lay a hand on you if you let me get away and... Take your portal of my own demise, of my own design. That way you'll be stranded here. I interrupt him, not gonna happen, flip him bird, draw both my lightsabers. Okay. Yes. You're going to attack him? Yes. I mean,. Oh, what else would we do? Okay, do so it. he goes... Sure. Make me attack rolls. <laughs> he says this is really a bad idea. I guess my idea. Nineteen oh, is not going to hit. Uh, roll with advantage. Because he charged him. Yep, uh, 15, 19 will not hit. Um, does anyone else want to try to attack the troll? Anyone else want to try to attack the troll, or should I move back onto the enemy's turn? Um, Chrissy will... in a second. Yep. The question is why should I try this particular game? Chrissy is going to cast <coughs> Cloud of Daggers. Right on top of the dragon. Half okay. dragon troll person. Yeah. He will take 44 slashing damage. Ooh, lovely. Ooh. Ooh. 
44 slashing damage at any saving throw? 4d4. 4 4d4? 4 4 uh, give me a second. Is there any saving throw or is it an auto hit? Auto hit and he takes 11 damage. Okay. He continues to take that as long as he's in the spell zone. He goes, ah, a feeble attack. Haven't seen one of them actually hit me in ages. Um, anyone else attacking? I'm not even there, actually. Never mind. No, no, you're still, you're you're walking away from the computer that's calling you sexy. Yep. Where are you going, sexy? That is a flying sexual harassment lawsuit. We haven't had tea time yet. Um. Um. Okay. No tea time? No, thank you. You don't seem like sexy. Okay. So, because of the um, low flux of um, combatants within the area, uh, we will go with a normal randomized initiative roll. Okay. Um, which will mean uh, Tyler's going first. I attack the troll with both my lightsabers. Sixteen will not hit. And a twenty-four will not hit. He just seems to be very good at dodging. He goes, you do know that I am a monk, don't you? Just a crazy danger. <laughs> It now comes to the troll's turn. He goes, I'll try not to bruise you, as he grabs his actual hand within a sharp point and goes to stab you with his actual hand. He takes... 10 damage from starting his turn inside the platform. Thanks. Yep. You see that he actually regenerates on his turn as well. So he only takes five damage from that. Uh, yeah, yeah. He goes, you could just let me go and strand on this planet. Does a Tyler, does a rolling, 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 43 hit your AC? Yes. Okay. You will take 2d6 plus 13 damage. He says, no matter what you do, Nora will create this world anew again. Cool. 
what? as you take 16 damage and go flying back at the wall. Ouch. Okay. And you take another... 7 damage from that as you hit the wall. And you fall prone. Um, now comes to Raven's turn. Raven is... Raven rushes over to see if you're okay. She doesn't feel brave enough to actually attack this thing. Uh, now comes to the yeah. Angel's turn. Raiden, your skirmish with the Angel is still going on. Yeah. Okay. So, does a 39 hit your AC? That'll hit. Yep. Okay. You will take... 37 radiant damage. one of your quick heals or are you find I would like to use one of my quick heals and just yep okay roll two seconds so I just updated my macro oh good so you heal 24 of those hit points back as he goes to swing his holy mace against you again. Ah, uh, okay, that's a critical hit. Normal hit. Normal hit. Okay. Do you want to use one of those uh, quick heals again? Or yeah, just to be safe. Yep. Next rolls, and that's another 17 hit points back. And... Holy shit, 41 damage. And the last attack roll. And he's going to definitely need a critical on this one. Okay. <laughs> what? Rolling to confirm. I'd like to use my number one of my quick heals. Yep. That'll be the last one for the day. Yeah, I know. 26 HP is regained. Well done. Okay. You take another... 29 damage. And as a full attack has actually... Two attacks in the full attack has actually hit you. Can I have a fort save from you? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Uh, stun. 
Yep, that actually passes. You're not stunned. Um. Okay. It will now come to Laurie's turn. What does Laurie want to do? I will. I will use Force Lightning. Force Lightning on the against, troll. Against the troll that sent your um, friend flying. Yes. Okay. He has to make a saving throw. Yeah, DC 20, port save. Okay. Let's see. Yep. Okay. This should be fun. Half damage if he misses? No, if he misses... The I mean, he if misses he saves. A DC... If he saves, he does not dead. Okay, 22. Alright, so he's not dazed. Okay. But that was, um... 25 for her roll. So it does 2d10 damage. Yep. Uh, 25 for the AC, touch AC. Oh no, that was the check to see how much damage it does. Okay. Uh, guessing it's a touch AC or is it an auto hit? Auto hit. Okay. Most forced things are auto hit unless otherwise no. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. Well, slightening away, I do have a question. Yeah. Do you um do you put the attack bonus with um things like that? Attack bonus? As in with the, the saves, dem saves and attacks and stuff. I mean no actually no, I haven't been doing that so it's just two D ten. Okay. Uh five damage because I'll be able to regenerate that next turn. Do you really want to keep trying this people with result? Kinda. Y you're still in the spaceship. Yeah, I'm not there. Uh, okay. Um. Let's see. Is that your turn, or do you want to take another turn? Uh, take a action point. Uh, yes, take an action point. Yep. And, uh... Yeah. Okay. Force lightning again, or try to attack him? Just... Eleven, yep. Goes, you really are wasting your time here. I am obviously more powerful. Uh, do you just respond to his when he remarks? Huh, I say. Well, I can at least try, can't I? Okay, port save. Rolls are 36 for fortune. Okay, um, leading down to the next person in charge, uh, Brayden, your turn. Oh yeah, and he takes damage from the daggers, because he starts his turn, doesn't he? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> I say to the angel, we seem to be evenly matched. How about we, how about we come to an agreement here? I agree, you're more powerful than me, and I flay my tail between my legs. 
and go help my friends, and you let me leave. Uh, twelve damage. Make me a persuasion check as you try to do that with disadvantage. Okay. So thirty-two. Oh, you got plus sixteen in persuasion. And oh, I'm looking. Twenty-four. Can I roll up disadvantage? Twenty-four. He goes. Ah. If you can survive a little longer, I might actually let you live. But that would be dishonor upon my kind as well. You do seem half celestial. How about you join the Empire? And I might agree to your proposition. If I agree to join the Empire, can I help my friends first? Be my slave. You see, slavery doesn't really do it for me. I'm not a big fan of it. Yes. Lowly level creatures like you are always like that. Always against the law of things. That is why I'm going to smash your heads in. Four round action is perfect heal. Okay. Action Just, point. Yep. Swing with Z. 30 to hit. Uh, 30 will not hit. Oh, action point rolling again. Yep. 42 to hit. 42 hits. 31 damage. 31 damage. He says this is a feeble result. You will not win. Yeah, it's gonna be doing pretty alright at the moment, buddy. Hey, let me go. And we'll call it even. I agree never to bother you again. You let me live. I don't know who you are, but you're going to die for what you've done here. Okay, uh, that would be your turn. Uh, Oscar, what are you doing? I'm gonna rejoin uh, the uh, aim group in the cave, because okay. I am very uncomfortable with this ship around. Yep. Goodbye, sexy. Okay, so you start venturing into the cave. It'll take you a full round to actually make it to your friends. So you will join them on next round. Okay. Uh, Friend has no friends. You what? He has friends. He has no friends. He's a Jedi. He says the Sith, whose only friends are doors. <laughs> you mean enemies? I don't I'm need there. friends to disappoint me. So is he angel mean to all magic? Or just direct magic? Uh, let's see, magic oh. will be able to harm it, just normal weapons don't seem to be able to harm it. Okay, just checking. A magical weapon seem to not break when the angel actually is hurt by them, but the angel is impervious to magic as well, so it will have some resistance, spell resistance to magic. Um, they're pretty tough creatures to bring down. Yes. Uh, what's Chrissy doing? Um. Good question. She's going to point at the creature. Yep. I 
and cause Heather's rebuke, he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. The, the monk has to make a dex save. Uh, awesome. Uh, DC? Uh, 16. Okay, luckily it doesn't roll a 1. Does an 18 pass? That'll pass. Yep. It takes 1d10 damage. 1d10. Uh, miss damage? Fire. Fire? He seems to be immune to yep. fire. As he's like, oh. ah, obviously you didn't see the red scales on me. Come on, move well, aside. Chris, she's gonna spend it. She's gonna spend an action point. Yep. She's gonna try and make it. She's gonna make a range touch attack against him. Twenty-four versus touch AC. Uh, twenty-four will not hit. That's Chrissy's turn. Yep. Okay. We roll it. Oh yes, and the battlefield. The dwarf. So the bear folk is attacking that. And the dwarf rams over, leaping within fury, wiping out the rest of the elite troops. And he go looks up and goes, Jimmy! Seems to be looking at you, Brave. Of course he does. Uh, how do you respond? Hi friend, I could use some help. I'm coming, Jimmy! You won't die again! We'll drink petrol together! Like the old days! Sounds great. Okay. Oh! Troll's on top of the list. He walks over to you guys and he goes... I think I might give you one more round of things, and then, yep, 12 damage. Yes, I will take that. 43. Uh, So, once again, to his regeneration, that lowers it down to 7 damage. Um, he yep, goes, yep. I'll give you one more chance. Move aside. Or I'm just going to have to move you myself. Uh, how do you respond? Am I in the cave yet? Ah, uh, yes, you... Actually, no, you're not in the cave yet. Um, okay. You'll get there on your initiative count. Alright. Okay. Uh, so, Laurie and Chris's character, how do they respond? Uh, trying to think. Hold on. I, I decide to step aside and save myself. Okay. <laughs> and Chrissy's character? Fair enough. Chrissy's gonna do the same thing and save herself. Yep. He goes good. Freeze Nora. And may your deaths in the reckoning be a quick one. And he walks out. Um, 
That would be his turn. Ah, uh, Brayden, it's your turn. I say, you sure you can't let me go? Make me another persuasion check. Brayden, if that, is, if that doesn't work, try a seduction check next. Oh god, <laughs> isn't that the same thing? Gross. Okay. He holds his mace to the triumph that's still there and flings it at its um, body, burning it to a crisp. He goes, okay. I believe we've been bested. I'd better report back to my actual superiors about this. You've become well known as a hero. Hey, disappears. Yeah, how far away is that half dragon troll dude? Uh, he's walking out of the cave now. Um, which I'm guessing Laurie, Chrissy, Raven. Raven's gonna heal Tyler. Oh yeah, I'd probably pass him on his way out. And I don't know he's evil, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, you probably heard him over the actual communicator. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, so Tyler heals... 6 HP? Rolled really low there. Um, Oscar, now comes to your turn. I'm gonna ask Brayden what he wants to do. Cause I can like... You see the troll coming towards you. What do you want to do? Uh, I'd like to fly over to Oscar to back him up. I'm gonna yep. run back outside. I call over the comm link. Watch out, you can back a punch. I'm gonna run back outside and I'm yep. gonna cast Entangle okay. at the entrance. I call back, so do I. Okay. Uh, Tyler, your turn. What do you want to do? Nothing really. I'm still kind of trying to catch my breath. Yep, you have your uh, healing hit die, and you also have or healing hit dice, which you have four of them, and you also have your second wind, which has two of them. So it's about sixty ten. Do you want to spend it all? Uh, no, just a second win and one healing hit die. Okay. So can I roll them all in one roll? Yep. Add twice your con mod. So that would be 2d10 plus 10. Yep. If I'm not mistaken. be your turn re-rolling um oscar it's your turn again what do you want to do okay so i casted entangle at the entrance to try to slow him down yep so for him to move he has to make a reflex save dc 16 yep uh do you want to do anything else or is that it um I'm gonna shoot an ice knife at him. Okay. So you see him walking down the roll. Um, is that an attack roll or? Yes. Yep. So, oops, wrong thing. Thirteen. 
Does a 27 hit? A 27. Uh, no. Crap. And... After that, it will come back to Tyler's turn. Unless you want to spend an action point. Uh, okay, uh... That doesn't hit his touch AC, right? No. Okay. Um... He has to make a reflex save. Okay, you, what spell were you casting? I had uh, Entangle cast there. Ah! Okay. He's uh, still walking, so you've cast it in the hallway? Yes. Okay. He lets himself get entangled. Okay. Um. Tarlo, it's now your turn. What do you want to do? I call Oscar and Brayden on the comm link and say, just let him go. Don't pretend you're in this guild for anything other than a little bit of coin. Okay. That's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. Fetch. Hmm. Really hey, Brayden. Does really anybody have any more alcohol? Can't say I carry any with me. Go look like the drunk dwarf in the guild. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna try to bribe him. I guess that's not gonna work. Okay. The dwarf himself looks like he's ready to fight the actual bear. Uh, what do you want to do, Raiden? What's Jimmy want to do? Um. I'm going to Jimmy for a start. You know what? Okay. I'm going to use Formatar Jim make my voice lots louder. Yep. <laughs> Turn to my dwarf friend. Over here's the real threat. The bears are allies. Okay, make me a diplomacy. Because he is drunk out of his mind and mentally insane. He's open. Persuasion, I think. It's persuasion. Yep, that Six. works. Jimmy goes, Oh, sorry, buddy! And he takes a giant leap over to the cave. Okay, down there. Uh, him down there. And we will move you down there. Okay, um, so he lands directly next to you. Oscar, uh, can I have a reflex save from you? <coughs> okay. Yep, they'll yeah. do it. You tend to steady on as the tremors around you just are heavy, but you seem to be able to hold your balance. Um, now comes the troll's turn. Troll, let himself get entangled. He goes, You really want to try and stop I said, It looks good. I'm some sort of half angel, half human hybrid. What part of that screams weak to you exactly? I have met many like you, and they have been very much weak. Inexperienced little adventurers. If this is the best that they can breed these days, then the Adventuring Guild Committee really has lost its touch. And then suddenly flames start to erupt from his actual mouth, and he burns the vines around him and then just continues to start walking again 
Um, Brayden, it would be your turn. Beautiful. I'm going to charge him. Mm-hmm. And I intend to go him. Okay. Because charge is roll advantage, so let's see what I can do with that. 35. 39 to hit. Uh, 39 does not hit his AC. Impressive. <laughs> he, he just... Action point. Okay. Braden, run! Reroll with advantage. Yep. I'm gonna... Try again. Come on, here's something useful. 46 to hit. 46? Does not hit his AC. Run. Yep. Okay. No I apologize profusely. Oh hell, Nora, you're free to go. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I think you good luck on getting out of this place. I hear that there's a green horde on its way to take over the planet. What? A green horde. A green tide. What is what is that? An orc horde. Hmm. You can stick around if you want, but it's saying Can you pull out that ship home? I mean I could, if it would work for me. Uh, can I, I have an intelligence my... check from both you and both Brayden and Oscar make me an intelligence check? Both for Oscar and Drunk Wolf to pilot an aircraft? I have the pilot skill. Welcome, Andy. Uh, 21, and. Okay. Uh, you come to the conclusion that maybe the dwarf can fly you home. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he could. I just... He is a drunk. Flying drunk is not. Yeah, flying drunk is the, is the issue. He got here somehow. But maybe the ship looks lucky. He was already landed here. He goes, thanks for the actual thing. And then he flies off. Sprouting his breath over the actual um, bear chieftain as the bear chieftain goes Aah! and falls to the ground. Can you just kill the bear chieftain? Yes, he just killed the bear chieftain. I'm gonna put this to a party vote. Who wants to bring the bear chieftain back and who wants to leave him dead? Uh, I think we should save him. The stick starts flying over to you guys. Uh, what are you supposed to do? I will grab the magic stick. Hey, as it goes to fly past you, can I have a strength check, please? Oh, goody, my best stat. Okay, 17. Um, you failed to grab the stick. Can I spend yeah. some point to re-roll that? Yes, you may. That was a hard roll. The dwarf is just set uh, with this blank look as Jimmy is trying Twice to pass the stick. Uh, you grab a firm grip, but it seems to electrocute you and it flies out of... Do you wish to hop, keep um, grip of the stick? As you take... Not dead. Uh, let's see. Four damage. 
Uh, the stick seems That's to it. fly okay. through the actual, um, through the cave as if it knows where it's going. And then it flies into the cave where the group is and stops at the hilt of Laurie. Laurie. Okay. Okay, I pick it up. Okay, it is. Or at least one. It accepts you. Hmm. You seem to be its new owner, as its old owner has just died. Yes. Well, I guess leaving the bear sheep from dead then. The bears don't seem to be too happy. They've killed the rest of the troops. They probably won't survive anyways. Okay. Uh, what do you wish to do? I call it the communicator. Everyone, get on the ship now. We're leaving. Okay, everyone races to the ship. And you just get into the ship. Uh, there seems to be not enough space for everyone. The dwarf plops his head down and he goes, Honey, I'm home! And the computer goes, Oh, hello, sexy. He says, Hot oh. home! And suddenly the ship starts rattling. Uh, what do you do? I'm gonna strap in. I... How do you strap in? Is there a seatbelt? No. I will hold on for dear life. Okay. To anything that is secure. Is everyone else still in the same? Yep. Or... Yep. Okay. Yep, we're all holding on for dear life. Okay. Um, as you go to hold on to dear life, who's at the front of the ship? I'll probably be in the cockpit. Okay. You see the ship start to fly full force near to the cliff face. Uh, what do you want to do? <sighs> Uh, can I try to shift the controls so he doesn't go into the cliff? Yep. Can I have a pilot check from you, or a strength check? Okay, that'll do it. He clips a part of the ring off the actual thing as it does a 180 turn of the cliff face, and he seems to be going straight up. Um, can I have a, uh, let's see, strength check from everyone, please? Ooh. You just seem to see this, okay? 15, yep. Uh, just need one. Chrissy, Laurie, and Tyler. Yep. Oof. Okay, um, just one from Tyler and Laurie. And this next one, Lori's. Yep. Yep, so everyone apart from Brayden, who seems to be holding on tight, goes flying to the back of the ship. Nice. Uh, Brayden, you have a chance to help someone. Who do you want to help? <laughs> That's a horrible choice to make. Mm -hmm. I'd like to help the squishies at the pie, so I'm going to grab the wizard slash wolf as she comes past. Okay. Push your little wizard. Everyone else will take... Nine damage. 
as you hit the back of the ship. Uh, Tyler, uh, Oscar, you hit the uh, back of the front of the ship. So you're still in the cockpit area. But you've just gone okay, far cool. away from the controls. Everyone else is just where the, um, are probably in the, near the engine room. Suddenly... Is your part of these ropes, Kyle? The ship is... Thinking back, we should have used rope to tie ourselves down. So, suddenly the ship starts to take a more angled position, a more turn to a 90 degrees as it's reaching orbit. And then the engines cut out. You just hear this... Oh, shit. He goes, the dwarf yells out, Ah, oh, she, she's having a hissy fit again! Um, how do you proceed? Oh my god. I put my, I put my head between my legs and my house could fly. You're currently at least 200 feet in the air. Is it possible to feather fall the ship? Yes, but you will require an arcana check. And you have two rounds until you I hit will... the ground. I will, I will try that then. He goes, She needs repairs! Uh, so, I am. Oscar is. Yep. You would successfully. Uh, you would know that you want to cast a spell properly. It will actually help the ship. Um, what's everyone else doing? There's not a whole lot else we can do. Who wants to repair it? Not me. The ship does run off Arcana, so... Is there like... I mean, after I cast the spell, can I try to fix it? Because the spell is a free uh, action. Yes, but the ship would have fell by a hundred feet by then. So you'll have a safe landing, but the repairs... Unless you want to repair it before... The actual um, spell. I don't think I can. <laughs> Yeah, let's go with a feather fall first, just in case I fuck it up. Okay. Um. So, um, is Chrissy doing anything? Is anyone else doing anything? I think there's a whole lot Chrissy can do. She does have the Arcana skill, right? Sure. She's gonna make a an Arcana check to try and help fix the ship. Okay, and Raven's gonna walk in and try to help as well because she has. Uh, knowledge Arcana as well. Um, Tala, Lori, what are they doing? Not ending. Okay. So, make me a check. With advantage. Can I use repair light damage? Yeah. Would that be able to fix it? 22. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Uh, 22, you seem to get. You start hearing this clanking noise as the ship has fallen at least a hundred feet. Um, Tyler rushes, Oscar rushes in and he ca starts casting another spell. Um, and suddenly with a poof, the uh, ship, uh, the engines just boost again. And you guys start going back up. Um, can I have another, uh, what do you switch to? Um. I'm gonna use my wings to stay afloat and keep hold of the squishy wizard. Okay. Uh, is everyone else holding on to deal with? Absolutely. Can I have a strength check from everyone? And I've got a roll for Raven. Oh goodies. Oh, 
DC twenty peoples. That was me. Yep. And this one is lower boots. Yep. Wow. Both of them were eight. Lovely. Very fine. Awfully hard. Okay, that is another. Uh, let's see, Braden passes, I think. Yep, Braden passes. And everyone else apart from Chrissy takes. 15 points of damage as you successfully make it out of orbit. The dwarf starts pressing buttons and stuff, and then suddenly. Poof! You enter light speed and then basically end back in this, um, let's see, time to change the music. You're back at the guild, but something seems different. Uh-oh. The dimensional space seems to turn blue. You can't see the teleportation circle whatsoever. Outside of the ship. Outside of the ship, there seems to be this giant shadow creature just looking in at you. The dwarf has fainted at the controls of the actual ship from his drunkenness. Yes, this! Uh, I will take control. On the motor con of the ship, the ship is parked now. It's teleported back into the guild. On the motorcon, you hear the High Elf. He says, Ah, yes. We seem to have come into a bit of a problem. I'm going to need your aid on some things. Don't worry, it will be paid for. What are you doing? What sort of things? I need you to get rid of the intruders. What are these intruders? Are they? Enemies, of course. They just walked in and started taking shit. I want you to kick them out. Save Rose, please. I seem to be trapped in another dimension. At this point, and I can't help at all. I do apologize. I tell my party, Lord, it's our guild, so I better defend it. Yep. Uh, to be continued until next session, guys. Yep, that's fine. I do hope you enjoyed the session. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> We're all gonna die. We're all gonna <laughs> die. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. Uh, no. One more session. There's Gauntlet and... 4, by the way. While... It'll be one more session, and then we'll have Oscar DM the next mission after the... Okay. Yep. Um, um, those gauntlets we picked up, who are they for? The what? The gauntlets that were picked up that... Chrissy's oh, carrying for yeah. yeah. Oh, the gloves were for Oscar. They yeah, are the this. Artisan Gloves. The Arcana Artisan Gloves. Handed down from an artisan master to the artisan master. Um, they were used for crafting spells. It's your artifact. Congratulations. Um, Laurie, you have the stick of Volo. Bear. The stick yeah. has Magic bonded stick. to you. And that is now your artifact. Um, and Chrissy now has the... Elder Rock wand. It has now bonded to her, and now that is her artifact. And that's Chrissy's. Yep. yep. Right, send us through the details, please, Ben. Okay. Whenever you get a chance. Um. Yep. You'll have to bond with the artifacts to actually find out what bonuses you will get from them. Yep. Uh, at the yeah, moment. At the moment, the wand is a plus one implement. At the moment, the staff is a plus one staff. A uh, great club, I mean. 
which does 2d8 damage. And the gloves is also a plus one implement at the moment. Which also gives a plus one to the, your craft checks. Cool. Okay. That will be for this session. There we go. Right. Bye, everyone. Take Good care. night, everyone. I'll take care of gold and experience on the actual um, chat. Awesome. Alright, take care.